previously on Godzilla. I thought you said this thing was human size! It was! You remember me. military. However, there are new reports of yet another creature wreaking havoc off the shores of Japan. That should have been me on the six o'clock news. Yeah, well, it's kind of hard to get your stuff on the air when a bunch of stormtroopers grab your camera and trample your First Amendment rights! You had no right calling Major Higgs. That creature wasn't a threat to anybody. You think I'd actually... Hey, 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 we didn't even see Godzilla, okay? Until like two seconds before the cavalry showed up. If you didn't call Hicks, who did? Maybe your little girlfriend didn't think you could keep Godzilla under control. What's the matter, News Twinkie? Can't handle a little competition? All right, cut fight! Shut, Shut up. up. You and I talk. Now. <sighs> I know what you're thinking. How could I just destroy the scientific find of the century? The insight we could have obtained from that creature is immeasurable. You think I didn't consider that? But I also had to think about how many lives that insight might cost. Go back to scooping up worms. It'll be a lot safer for everyone. You're not arresting me? You're disappointed? Any luck outing our Benedict Arnold? I tapped into Hicks's phone records. The call was untraceable. Ta-da! Craven and I are ready for Jamaica. Uh, I got my flu shots. <laughs> If there is another creature down there, we'll be on top of it. Fine. Randy and I will join you as soon as possible. I believe you know my associates in the insurance game. Have you and your French Secret Service pals been shadowing me the whole time? You're a spy? Cool. We did what we felt was necessary. You. You're the one who called in the airstrike. Had you done your job properly, that creature would never have been born. What gives you the right to- And now the moral debate begins. Might we postpone until we have dispensed with the latest mutation? Oh, no. I'm done cleaning up after your government. <laughs> your angst is almost European. But please, join me in looking at, uh, how do you say, the big picture? I can provide you with a state-of-the-art research vessel, as well as weaponry and <clears throat> protection. Don't know about you, Efe, but I feel safer already. We leave first thing in the morning. And I'm in charge. Initializing analytical protocols. 
analyzing sample now. You want to talk pH levels? We got them low, low, low. So low, they're insane. <laughs> Remind me to kill that teenage punk for messing with Nigel's linguistic software. Do you feel that? That pulsing sensation. Something's in here. It looks like this tar was draining it. But why? This is state of the art? Beggars cannot be choosers, Monsieur Tatopoulos. That's Dr. Tatopoulos. And I don't recall begging you for anything. Yeah, a few one sheets, some chips, a cooler, and we're good to go. Ahoy, matey! Permission aboard. Nice wreck. What's it called? Uh, off limits. How come everybody keeps doing that? You want to tell me why Craven and that red-headed Cupid doll booked a flight to Jamaica? How did you know? I have my sources. They find anything yet? Classified. How many girlfriends you need to do your talking for you, Nikki? Uh... The data suggests that while draining the fish's electrolytes, the tar was also keeping it alive. Why would it do that? Any chance of hitting Montego Bay before the turn of the next century? I'm sorry, Captain. The warp drive cannot take any more. <laughs> nice thrust. What's the word? Well, we analyzed the tar. Amino acids reading right off the chart. And the fish we found trapped inside completely drained of electrolytes. Sounds like the tar is part of some kind of pre-digestive process? Yeah, we're thinking external stomach. Once the food is digested, the tar is probably reabsorbed into the predator's body. What kind of creature are we dealing with? Ah! <laughs> Elsie! in our power. Please remain calm. There must be something you can do, Mr. Ambassador. We're talking about American citizens. We're doing everything we can, Dr. Totopoulos, but this is still a local problem. I told you it would be a waste of time. Get this through your head. Those are my people out there, and I'm not resting until I ding, find ding, them. Ding. We have a winner! I locked onto Nigel's distress signal. Once I pinpoint the little bot, I should be able to retrieve him. Look! They're alive! Subjects remain unconscious. Attempting to break down the tar's enzymes with an alkali solution. Although the tar seems to have kept them alive, the subjects appear desiccated, as if electrolytes and blood sugars have been drained. <coughs> Squibs! <coughs> Get him off! Get him off! <coughs> it's over. It's over. You're safe now. I could be home, enjoying my wife's pasta vazul. No, you dragged me down here to hunt monsters. Credit card records don't lie, animal. Craven and Chapman flew down here and rented a boat in this village. They found something big. I can smell it. That tar was eating us? Paradoxically, 
while also keeping you alive. And the whole time it was draining away the nutrients from your blood. Wow. That is some serious scrunchy. Down. I am so good. I would not celebrate just yet. Inside! What's going on? I don't know who she is, but I hate her already. Not again! Is there another way out of- Whoa! it doesn't hold a grudge. So it survives an airstrike, and then it swims 1,500 miles just to save our sorry butts? Loyalty. Squids this size have never been seen before, only speculated upon. They must be deep water dwellers. Then what brought them to the surface? I'm guessing somebody lean, mean, and oh so green. No, no, something is not right. These squids aren't charred like the others. Something siphoned out all their vital fluids. Meaning Godzilla didn't do this? They look like they've been drained. Just like the fish we found in the tar. Radiation? These squids may not be the predators we thought they were. They may be part of a larger food chain, processing food for some other natural enemy. Let me get this straight. These mutant squid things use this tar gun to break down their food, and now something else is sucking them dry? Any theories, Dr. Tritopoulos? Audrey, what are you doing here? My job. <laughs> Miss me? Can you say abandonment issues? Ugh. You must leave. It is too dangerous. More dangerous than a cab ride through Godzilla's mouth? Been there, done that. There is no telling what sort of predator is feeding off these squid. What is that? I'm guessing we've found our predator. Guess again, compadre. It just found us! Issue. I think he's weaning off seafood. It followed the squids to the surface, and now Godzilla's burned up its food supply. This batch isn't even a snack. We must stop this thing, unless you plan to adopt it. Shut up and drive. Get in! Couldn't we just stay here for a while? On the nice cool sand. Come on! How do you think it feels about fire? Let's find out!
feeding on the tar from those squids. Now it has to find a suitable substitute. Highway tar? Let's go, let's go, move! <laughs> Next time we rent on your credit card. That's right. Got some nice hot tar for you. They make a nice couple. Oh, I, I'm in team. I'm in team. bucks on the walking crab cake. Where'd that thing come from, anyway? Same place as Godzilla. And if you ask me, it's just the tip of the iceberg. What's it doing? He's tunneled all over that ridge. It's unstable. for the price of one. That monster just sacrificed itself for us, Major. <laughs> Never bet against the big guy. Target acquired and locked on. On my signal. No, you can't. I have my orders. Don't you want just one mutation to be on our side? Don't make this harder than it needs to be. permission to fire on Godzilla. He's the only thing that stands between us and every other mutation that comes crawling out of the woodwork. And believe me, Major, there will be others. Godzilla is dead. Sir? Repeat, Godzilla is dead. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Roger that. Thank you, Major. Don't make me regret this. with no loss of life. This is Audrey Timmons reporting from Jamaica. Thanks for keeping Godzilla out of the spotlight. It saved our lives. I guess I owed it that much. And all it cost me was an Emmy! 
Not that I'm bitter. <clears throat> I'm just glad it's over. Over? Just be thankful that whatever we have to face in the future, we won't be facing it alone.